Hi, my name is Trini rask -Valbum. I am Service Delivery Manager here in Columbus. And with me today I have Rohit, who is Director for our Developers. Hi. We are both from our care organization. And what we would like to talk about today, that is the Power Platform. We would like to give you some insights in why it is we see that good planning and proper governance is really important. But before we start the talk, I would like to introduce myself. So as SDM in Columbus, what's really important for me and my purpose and my goal, that is to ensure that we have the right delivery to our customers. That is to deliver on our AMS services. AMS, that means the Application Management Service. As a person, what I really like and what gives me the energy, that is to work on new projects with customers, but also to ensure uh, their IT investments really will bring some value and ensure that we have all the services that they need. And Rohit, you and I, we have worked on multiple projects together. Yes, yes, we have. But before we start, I would quickly like to introduce myself. So my name is Rohit Joshi. I have experience of over 14 years with Microsoft CRP. I have worked with Microsoft. I worked with customer, uh, where I was responsible for the ERP application, the operation side of it. And now I'm working for Columbus, uh, Columbus, who is a trusted IT business partner uh, for, for all our customers. Um, and personally, I'm passionate about the IT operations, the operation side of IT, where we not only develop the application, but we try to manage and, and ensure that, you know, it's it's lifelong application. Uh, it lives forever, it's maintainable, it's scalable. And that's why we are here today. We are trying to talk about Power Platform, but not about what every everyone talks about. It's about Power Platform, the governance around it, the structure around it, so that we can bring stability. Uh, we can ensure that our Power Platform journey for our customers is, is structured and in a planned way. So Trini, what has been your experience for the projects that we have worked together? Um, I think what we often see is that the customer, they are really, they put a lot of energy, they are very excited about the development and especially the go live. Yeah. And what we sometimes see is that even for the low code and for the no code applications like the Power Platform, which is the future, it is also important to have the structure in place and also have a plan for the governance around it. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right that low code, no code is, is the future. But what we want to highlight for our customer is the fact that uh, with, with great power comes great responsibility. So Power Platform, which is a low code, no code application where our citizen developers, our, our professional developers and, and business can come together and make something uh, that's agile, that's quick, but also something that can be complicated. So that's where we, we want to ensure that there's some sort of governance. We need to ensure that we have some structure where we can identify which of the applications are critical for us, business critical applications, which of the applications are important to us and which of the applications are just productivity based application uh, that IT does not need to bother much about. And that's where we need to bring the governance. And when you say governance, what do you, could you put in some extra words about it? What do you? What is? What does it mean for you? Correct. So governance, for example, let's we can have hundreds of apps uh, in our organization that are maintained by uh, by business because it's productivity based apps. Uh, they are apps that are not critical for our business, uh, but only a team uses them. What could that be, for example? For for example, the applications. Let's say I'm a manager and I want to remember my team members' birthdays. Mm -hmm. Instead of setting a reminder on Outlook, I can create a Power App, which will send me an email every time there's a birthday. I can, I can do the settings myself. I can ensure I get reminded 14 days before, so I might need to buy a gift, uh, or on the day itself, where I might need to wish him mm -hmm. or her. Mm -hmm. yeah? And some of the critical business application can be, can be a Power App or Power Automate something that's integrated to our ERP or CRM system that's exchanging data. Those applications are business critical applications. They need to follow the right standards, they need to have right best practices, and they need to have governance around it so that we can maintain the security aspect, we can ensure that GDPR is under control. All of these things we need to make sure are, are managed. And that's what governance is. That's what we want to bring into this journey that customer wants to go through with Power Platform.
And what is your experience? Do you see that customers, is that something they can do on their own? Do they have the experience and the focus on it? Or because it, for me, it sounds like that is really where we can bring in a lot of value as an IT partner. Yes, definitely. Because what we need to understand is Power Platform is something that's low code, no code. But even Microsoft is coming up with a low code 3.0 where they are talking about not just developing the, the Power Platform based application, but they're also talking about governance. And, 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 and that's where we bring our expertise from Columbus because we have been ERP partner for our, our, our customer for a long time. Mm -hmm. We have learned from our AMS uh, journeys that we have done uh, for various customers. So we want to bring that aspect into our Power Platform governance. We want to ensure that we bring in the right standards. We bring in the center of excellence for our customer where we educate them about what does it mean to have a Power Platform application? What does it mean to have business critical or, or uh, you know, product productivity-based application? We need to ensure that uh, the customers are uh, enabled to have their own citizens developer um, develop Power, Power Platform-based application, but they have a governance around it mm -hmm. so that the IT can be still responsible, especially for business critical applications. And I also see that we have a high demand from our customers that is to support them on their digital journey. Right. And that is what we can do. We are the IT partner and we really can, we can both do the advice. We can of course also do the development, but I see that we also in Columbus, we have a lot of offerings Correct. and we can ensure that our customers, that is worldwide, that they get the most out of their IT investment. Makes sense. Why we are talking about governance? Because we, we want to ensure that, you know, when it's Power Platform, or not just Power Platform, any low-code, no-code application, we have seen it historically in, in customers uh, that we tend to have a shadow IT. By shadow IT, I mean uh, we all would have seen some Excels that are super complex, have macros and a kind of coding logic into them, which are business critical for one or the other process. Mm. And during implementation of ERP, I have personally been handed over an Excel, which they wanted to be converted into a process. And, and that's, that's, that's why governance is important, because if we have hundreds of power platform based application that's not managed, some of them can quickly become cre uh, crucial for, for business, critical for business. And if IT is not in control, there's no governance, there's no structure around it, there's no way to manage the application. And that's where we bring our expertise, ensuring that when customer is going through their power platform journey, we are there with them at every step. We, we bring the control, we make sure that we have, let's say for example, an offering like an app, uh, mm -hmm. app in a day training where we train citizen developers in developing their, their app, where we have workshops with them, where we uh, enable them to have structure, to have their own center of excellence, where they can decide on the best practices, standards, have their company branding all over the power platform based application or power apps, uh, which might face customer as well. So that's what we want to bring in, structure planning, right branding for customer, the control that the, the IT operations should have. And how do you see it? Is this for customers that are new uh, in the Power Platform? Is it something is for some that really has been there for a long time and has used it a lot, really have enabled all their, all their employee? Or yeah. where do you see that they need to be on the journey? It, so the, the best thing would be if we do it from start. Right? <laughs> so if, if we are planning everything from start, if we have structure from the, from the beginning, and that's the best thing because then we are in complete control. But even for customers that have already gone through some of the journey and are continuing to do their digital transformation with help of Power Platform based application, it's very important that they, they stop, they take a breather, and then they realize how to bring in the governance because quickly it might escalate, mm -hmm. uh, it might become a beast. And that's why we are here, to tame the beast, to ensure that it does not go out of hand and IT operations can have full control on their power platform based applications. Yes, yeah. um, I agree. I, it, and it really sounds extremely important and extremely crucial for the business to ensure there is a plan for how the maintenance, how that should be, Correct. also for the governance and to ensure that we have the right processes in place. Yes. And where is it that you really see that we from Columbus can bring some value to our customers? So we from Columbus have multiple offerings around 
developing Power Platform based application, around designing them for the customer, architecting them, but also we have workshops based on, uh, based on you know, like we talked about the app in a day training mm -hmm. where we can enable the citizen developers. Uh, we have workshops that we can do for customers where we can help them with the governance aspect so that they they know what they need to uh, figure out to talk about internally and then create a structure around it. So we, we, we enable our customer, we help them actually do it, but we also help them to ensure that they are on the right track of their own digital journey where we bring in the control and we bring in the, the expertise from the experience we have. Yeah. We have talked a lot about the new development and all this governance. I was thinking, could it be, do you have any experience in, could it be that maybe someone they already have an application could we then be the one to maintain it? Could we be the one to operate it? Definitely. And that's where the experience comes into picture because we have done it historically for the ERP-based application. And, and like we talked about, that's, that's the expertise that we have will, uh, is enabling us, uh, ensuring that we can take over Power Platform-based uh, application from the customer and not just support them, help them enhance it. Also, again, develop new Power Platform-based application and show that they are able to um, go through the journey with us or we are able to go through the journey with them <laughs> ensuring that they have the right expertise. Uh, so we just want to ensure that the, the customer is in control and we can help them enable uh, the control they really need, the governance, governance they really need. So that again, because it, it's, it's power platform, it's powerful and with great power comes great responsibility. Yes. And I want to thank you so much thank for you. sharing your thoughts and for this conversation. Um, and I really hope that this, at least it gave me a lot of insight. I hope it was also interesting for you to watch. And feel free to reach out to us. We are definitely here to assist you on whatever questions you have related to the Power Platform. Yes, we are. Thank you so much.